So this story is actually both sad and hilarious at the same time. It's sad because um, basically what's going on in Utah is it's getting really dried out. And apparently Utah is, according to science, it's going to uh, rise in temperature faster than the world and other areas in general. So Utah specifically will be a serious victim of climate change big time. And so they're currently undergoing quite a big drought issue. In California, a drought warning was also issued. So clearly water is starting to get scarce. There wasn't really a lot of rainfall this year. Um, it seemed to be very sunny in the winter months, which is extremely concerning. It's also been very windy um, in California for some reason, even going into June and like late May. So the weather is clearly fucked up in all different ways. It's very bizarre. Um, this story says Utah governor asked residents to join him in, quote, weekend of prayer for rain. Utah Governor Spencer Cox is asking residents to join him in a weekend of prayer for rain amid a statewide drought emergency. By praying collaboratively and collectively, asking God or whatever higher power you believe in for more rain, we may be able to escape the deadliest aspects of the continuing drought, Cox said in a video on Friday. The governor said the current lack of water is the potential to damage crops, hurt wildlife, and cause deadly wildfires. Quote, I've already asked all Utahns to uh, conserve water by avoiding long showers, fixing leaky faucets, and planting water-wise landscapes. But I fear those efforts alone won't be enough to protect us, Cox said in a press release. We need more rain, and we need it now. We need some divine intervention. That's why I'm asking Utahns of all faith, all faiths to join me in a weekend of prayer June 4th through the June 6th. The state of emergency for the drought was declared on May 13th when the statewide snowpack reached approximately 81% of normal and peaked 10 days early and all forecasts for spring runoff for the state are below 76% of the state's seasonal average. That is insane. Um, so I guess they get a lot of their money, uh, or not money, their water from I think the snow as well as uh, precipitation and they're just not getting enough of it. So what's hilarious about this is obviously praying for water isn't going to do anything. That's actually batshit crazy that you would even say that. But I also have an issue with going at this from the lens, and this is the stupid lens, which is working to conserve water. Because working to conserve water is essentially putting a bucket under a leak. It's not actually fixing the leak. Um, you're going to have to get a new bucket. It's not a solution to the problem. The problem here is climate change, and you have to figure out how to stop the continuation of climate change and actually try to get some reversal going on because the reason why there's a drought right now and there's low supply of water, low precipitation, less snow is because global temperatures are rising because of higher carbon dioxide emissions in the atmosphere. I think it traps... Um, basically like traps, uh, think the sun's radiation. And so it gets really, really hot. And when you get really, really hot, you get low precipitation and droughts are really, it's hard to explain how horrible droughts are. I mean, just think about, you know, ha having to be really careful about how much water you use and think about all the crops that are dying, all the food that's not going to be able to be grown. Think about all of the farms and all of the businesses that rely on water to be able to employ people. Think about the wildfires that are going to burn down homes and all the other stuff. There's so much shit that comes from climate change and droughts. So we have to act now. Um, the solution to this is not to conserve water better. That You have to do that too, but you have to focus really mostly on how do we reverse the global temperature rise. And Utah is going to get fucked by this really hard because Utah is actually going to rise at a higher rate um, in terms of temperature because of their geography. Uh, so they're going to get hotter than other areas are. Um, in, and, you know, this is caused by climate change. I also uh, saw this article in Utah on law. It says, uh, declining water supply, how Utah can become adept at adapting to the impacts of climate change. And, you know, it's talking about how Utah is going to uh, get hotter at a faster rate. Um, talking about the snowpack and all of those things and how the global rise in temperatures is negatively impacting their state. So Utah, I mean, just, you know, getting a weekend of prayer, even trying to just conserve your water usage isn't going to 
be a real solution. It's just going to be a bucket under a leak. And people need to understand this. I don't know what's so hard to understand about. I don't know if they teach climate change in like high school classrooms or not. It's very basic stuff. I mean, you know, you burn fossil fuels that emit carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. It doesn't leave trapped sun's radiation and the temperatures warm. And that leads to very, very bad things. Even just a rise in two to three degrees is massive. That is huge, huge, huge rise. And you can see it in Utah right now.